Good afternoon, Abbotsford residents. I'm down here at Ken's old newspaper, the pro editor of Abbotsford newspaper. Ken, when he was working here, when the building was still in operating, had a kid named Tyler Olson working here that hung with Darren Brown, Henry's son. So what I'm out here about is there's a GoFundMe, democracy being challenged in Abbotsford. Please encourage you to donate to that. I'm going to lay out something for you residents, and I want you to see this. So when this building was proposed, they hit the bloody development site. They purposely hit it. So both of people here in the community couldn't go and say, we don't want it. We don't want this shit. So to get the procession over the community, they hid the development sign. This is the shit Henry did on Highway 11. Then when the community went in to speak, they would go, oh, you're too late. It got approved. When the development sign got caught, because Darren Brown told, the contractor and the developer and what was proposing it had to leave. He packed up and fled. He couldn't meet sales. That was his lame excuse. In today's realtor market, you know that's bullshit. He had to leave because you now you know you had insider trading, lifting land, racketeering fraud, and the RICO Act needs to come into place. So he was smart. He left. But he told Henry, in my opinion, you're a loudmouth, stupid, bloody kid who's in front of you every day, Henry, doing shit for you, Henry, and you're crap because you had Ed and Mike with you covering it up, the MP and the MLA. Told, buy me out. Henry called Rob Funk, a diverse, and they bought this shit old place. And they bought it, and then they went off the old development permit that Rob Isaac would cover because Darren Brown said, if Rob Isaac doesn't do what my dad said, my dad will kick his ass out and he won't get to finish the term. In my opinion, when I was coming, Henry must have said, if Mr. Pelican gets that, see, Rob, you're bloody done. He'll cut your ass out, so you need to finish my scams. So Rob Funk gets this shithole place. This man is the CEO of the verse. Abbotsford City staff, behind Nancy Friesen's back and Rob Isaac's back, said this. Yesterday, when Engineers called, engineers said, within 24 hours, we get a call, we're out there. That's the biggest pile of shit out of Rob Isaac's staff's mouth. Within 24 hours, Henry damaged all our homes. Nobody came out, and they still haven't came out for years. We had to file a civil lawsuit, and then Henry started threatening. So take your shit out of your crap, Rob Isaac, and your filth and your shit Amazon ticket, and go learn some morals and ethics, and at least tell the fucking truth, okay? And that's bullshit, and I know it and you know it. So the filthy diverse buys it. Rob Funk proposes this, hauls the dirt over into Chilliwack illegally. He, he's been in the development business, this CEO Rob Funk. Then goes here with no flaggers, dusting everybody's homes. This guy's a contractor. He's a CEO of diverse. And his superintendents and project managers are supposed to know this. And they're ramming it down to get this filthy shit through. Mike DeYoung won't come and speak, and neither will that pass. They're both Henry's buddies. And neither will Bruce Bannon over this bloody crap. And this is what the shit they were doing. This is why Henry had to get Keelan Olin off to threaten me, drop the videos and lawsuits. And this is why Henry had to get great toes to load Ross Siemens to the mayorship and block me. And this is why Ken wouldn't run me in the newspaper ad, because the only Cover such shit like this, Ken, and block it is one of two things. The federal government from seeing that it is insider trading and it's racketeering with that shit Rob Funk. And two, you're being rewarded really bad, really good behind the back. That, I can tell you, had to happen to block me in the election and not let me take ads. But I don't know how Henry sat on down. My daddy gave me a trade, me and Irwin are rich. Ever thought that is shit of his hit and run in his vehicle coming at me and put me in the hospital with all his political shit with Ed Fast and Mike and his crap being on top of the police board as a shithole mayor and his crap with Mike Sears would ever think that a man like me would look away from your filthy, heinous act and ever look away that you had a politician, bunch of loser friends and a little bit of money that says Henry Brown shouldn't be facing criminal charges. Henry got out 
because Mike Sears covered that. Henry got out to load all his shit. Henry Brown purposely, willingly and knowingly, got in his fucking car, ladies and gentlemen, came to a protest where I stood up about my house being damaged and the crap he was doing, and came there, hit and ran me flat, caught on video film, and put me in the hospital. That shit, that fucking crap company, that shithole shit that Ken was popping up. Abbotsford police are the best. Old Donna Macy and Mike Sears went on their fucking face, pardon my language, to cover that shit. Because Henry went like this, Mike, let me finish the last term, Mike Sears. Please let me finish. I gotta load everything. I know the community future plan. Everything is going to be in effect. I know it all coming forward. Mike Sears should have put a stop to him when Olinoff threatened. Mike Sears should have put a stop when council were in his house collaborating. Mike Sears should have put a stop when his son was in front of him. Mike Sears should have put a stop when Henry halted the municipal election and used electoral officers to take my signs. Mike Sears knew it's election rigging and fraud. But Mike Sears back Henry shithole ties to the old MP, old Ed, his best buddy, would cover that. Let me tell you, Mike Sears would never cover it. Mike Sears wouldn't cover it at all because when Darren Brown showed and laid it out, he connected more than the dots. And I went to the Surrey Mission RCMP. I got a message for Mike Sears and your team. You're humiliated all around the world. You're humiliated in Abbotsford because you didn't stand up for law. You didn't stand up for what's right. You're being fed grease in the bloody back door. And I got another message, Mike. I intend to go all the bloody way. A man like you shouldn't be facing retirement and fled out of here. You're going to be dragged on your bloody ass wherever I have to go with Abbotsford residents and skin day in and day out and hose your full fucking company for covering that hit and run and putting your officers in front of my house to hold me out of the election for intimidation and crap with Henry. So when you sit down, Mike Sears, you know where this is going? Up the ladder. And I want two places to go. I want to stand before the Supreme Court and I want to stand before the Prime Minister and show it all and tell it all face to face, not camera to face. So the Mike Sears, Pack your shit, get a new fucking dog in here, the new police chief, the Mike Sear, the Mike DeYoung hire that guy, get a new cat in here and fix that's good. This is how it happened. They were taking advantage of these lands, ladies and gentlemen, and threatening residents. And Henry lobbied this piece of shit, Rob Funkin, to do this crap. There's not a developer from here to the other side of the bloody planet that does illegal, filthy crap unless they got ties. The development sign was hidden for the whole time and his shit with the verse. And now Mike Kelly being told that Mike Kelly is John Les's son-in-law out of Chilliwack and he's under Rob Isaac. They said that's how the red card got lifted. Mike Kelly, he's John Les's son-in-law. That's the goodness of Abbotsford residents. The shit with Mike DeYoung and Henry and Ed Fast is how this all happened. And they used this private police force as their own. They knew the mayor could control it and that's what they used it. And they convinced everybody in Abbotsford that this shit old fucking company was honorable and it had morals. It wasn't. It was owned by Ed Fast and Henry Brown, basically controlling it for the elections, threats, and everything. That is why I said Abbotsford deserves and must lobby now for the RCMP. Henry must go to Ken at the newspaper and say, no, we need them filthy bastards. We need Mike Sears and his filthy company because it's the only way Henry could be protected. That's the only way Henry and Ed got protected. So I'm live, Ken, again at your Abbotsford newspaper. And I bet you, Ken, you didn't even know about Mike Kelly, did you, Ken? So I go down and check Mike Kelly, Abbotsford city staff confirmed it this morning on Nancy Friesen when Ross was at his gas station crying, hey, Dad, I'm wrecked. Mike Kelly is John Les's son-in-law. That's how the card got removed, real fast and quick, for Rob Funk. Amazon sells engineers tickets. You know what Rob Isaac and his whole filthy stab was doing. So engineer said yesterday, we don't really enforce this shit. Let me tell you how it's done. When the filthy city councils go up to Henry's house, they make recommendations to the bylaws, whatever fits, and then we're supposed to enforce it. They change it to meet Henry for the official community plan. Then they pull it back out when it's an actual resident. I'm live, ladies and gentlemen, at Abbotsford's newspaper on Ken's old site. 
British Columbia.